it was by a wide margin, the crash. So there was a study done, a survey that I saw. What do you like most about energy drinks? Or what's your main drawback for energy drinks? What do you think the number one thing was? It was by a wide margin, the crash. When you take caffeine, I've said this before on this channel. Here's, here's, so here's your body, there's adenosine. Adenosine comes in and that's the, ah, oh, crap, I'm tired stuff, right? So what caffeine does, it blocks adenosine. But what happens in four hours when that caffeine wears off? Just like if you just took a dam and blew it up, the river just flows through and floods the entire town. That's what adenosine does to your brain, to your body. With BHP, you're, you're, not, you're not looking at stimulant energy, you're looking at cellular energy. Because there's two types of energy, stimulant energy and cellular energy. The energy drinks on the market now, say for Rev7 and Reaction, the energy drinks on the market are just stimulant energy. But imagine if you combined them stimulant energy, cellular energy to avoid the crash. But if you don't want caffeine, you just take the Go BHP and you got that cellular energy to power you through your workout, through your day. And if you take it at night, it won't mess up your sleep. It'll actually help your sleep. Studies have shown that it improves all quality markers of sleep with just two grams, two grams.